Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, darlings. Hope you are all having a lovely day. Here we have 80 mile an hour winds at the moment and it's a little storm that we're calling Doris in the UK. Um, so yeah, we've got Doris and it's the lighting is crazy. I'm in front of the window and it is just insane. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. You'll see the light, it'll go dark, it'll go bright again and you'll think what's happening. It's because there are storm clouds everywhere and one minute it's really bright and sunny and then the next minute the sun goes in behind the clouds and then it's really dark and dingy. So yeah, that's been happening. Apart from that, everything's fine. I apologise for not doing a video last week, which I know I was supposed to do and um, I was just so busy I really couldn't fit one in so I do apologise for that but I will be doing an extra video to make up for it. Um, but I'm really excited about today's video because it is an Avon haul but I have two gorgeous new designer bags to show you guys and I'm so excited because the last time I showed you a designer bag it was really really popular and um, yeah it was actually my most popular Avon video so I'm excited about that so hopefully you guys are excited too so I will get started with those. So if you guys saw that video you will know that I'm talking about the Tabitha Webb handbag. Now this is the Tabitha Webb luggage bag to go with the handbag and um, yeah it's this oxblood colour. This is from the first collection. So the first collection this was the colour that she used on everything. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's a decent size. It's just a typical weekend bag size. Um, I mean I wouldn't use this as a handbag, it's huge. It's definitely for luggage. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I keep touching the screen, something's wrong with the um, camera. Anyway, so here we have the interior, which is this teal color. And here is the, um, I don't know if you guys can see inside, it says tab the web. And then on the outside, the same as the bag, you have Tabitha Webb there, and it's just gorgeous. It has the same hardware. It's, it's basically the same bag. It's just the luggage version of the handbag from the first collection. Um, it has the little tag. It says Tabitha Webb on there. They do not do these anymore. These are discontinued, but if you do want one, I've noticed that they are selling on eBay. So, um, yeah, that's really exciting. So you can pick one up. Uh, these were selling for £90, um, but people are selling them cheaper on eBay. But, yes. £90 was the full price for this bag and I absolutely love it. I used it recently um, on a weekend away and it was gorgeous. It's very soft, it feels like real leather, although it isn't, but I still love it. And I don't wear leather anyway, so it's perfect for me. Now the sec second thing that I purchased was this. It is another Tabitha Webb bag. Uh, and this is from the latest collection. She has moved on from the Oxblood Burgundy shade and she has now gone into this gorgeous uh, navy shade. So here it is. It's a navy with this little plaque, tab of the web plaque, and then she's still got the same tag that hangs down with the plaque there. It is just gorgeous. So it is navy with grey and like this deep mustard shade. It's gorgeous. And then I'll show you the back. Stunning. It's really pretty. If you guys have the um, the first bag from the collection um, and you're wondering about sizing and things, it is very similar. It's a similar size. It is lighter. It's much lighter and you'll see the handles are different. It's not these thick handles. It's the thin ones. Um, so it is lighter. It is slightly smaller. Um, but, and it's a little bit more boxy, the other bag was kind of a little bit, came out to about here, it was a little bit more rectangular, um, but it's, it's very similar in size, um, and it's the same price, it's £80, but it's just gorgeous. The interior is this beautiful print, and she actually has a dress and a scarf, uh, in this latest collection, in this print, and I've actually ordered the dress, so I will be wearing the Tabitha Webb dress in my next Avon haul so that would be very exciting for you guys to see and then it's just got the tag inside I don't know if you can see that but yeah it's just a really pretty bag love it don't know if I said I think I did but it's 80 pounds 
if you guys don't know who Tab the Web is, she is a British designer and she has been worn many times by Kate Middleton. So, I mean, who wouldn't love having a royal um, member, family member? wearing your designs that would be amazing so um she's very sought after very popular and i think it's amazing that she has collaborated with avon so that is my uh designer pieces out of the way and let's get on to some more products so i bought two of these these are the planet spa sleep serenity with chamomile and lavender these are bath salts gorgeous these smell so nice i'll show you this one because it's actually full up you guys can see just normal bath salts they smell beautiful uh, not really much more I can say about them they're just very nice and relaxing to have in the bath the next thing I purchased was this Nutra effects active seed complex makeup remover what I find is some of their eye uh, sorry mascaras um, don't come off that easily they're not supposed to be um, waterproof but they really don't budge which in some ways is good but when you're trying to remove it uh, not all makeup removers uh, take them off um, so I thought I would get one from Avon <laughs> to take off their mascaras um, so this is the one that you shake to activate the ingredients uh, this is really nice it's a decent size I can't actually see what the size is but you can kind of see this is gonna last a long time decent size bottle um, yeah it's really really good stuff and yeah so I recommend that next up what do we have I'm going to show you my new foundation. I've been recently trying out all the different Avon foundations and um, I've come across this one, which is Avon True Color Liquid Foundation, Flawless Liquid Foundation. It is shade pure beige, believe it or not, even though my skin tone is definitely not beige, but apparently, according to Avon, um, my skin is beige. Hmm. I don't think so but um yeah it's is tanned it's in any any other brand it wouldn't be called beige it would be like tanned something or whatever um but yeah according to this it's beige um but anyway it's really nice it goes on really smoothly um it stays on all day i didn't have any smearing uh smudging shifting or anything but then i did use a primer and a setting spray which i'll show you in a second um so that may have helped, but I do recommend this is a this is a good foundation, and it's got the pump, which I really like. So yeah, I really like that, and it's in glass. It's a really good quality bottle. Um, next up, we have this concealer. This is in shade Fair, because what I do with this is I use it to go in under the eyes, get rid of any bags, um, and yeah, down the T zone. On the chin just to kind of as a little bit of a highlight this is good this is you know pretty typical it's quite creamy um, and yeah it's nice so there's that um, next up I'll show you this which is a mascara and it's called the big and false lash mascara which I'm wearing now I don't know if you guys can see the lighting's shocking, one minute the sun's in, the next minute the sun's out, it's just messed everything up, but never mind. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys can see uh, this mascara on my lashes, it is so good, I really, really, really like this. It definitely gives that false, this way is probably better, um, it gives that false lash look, um, in my opinion, it's really good. I mean, my lashes aren't really long, they're kind of like, I don't know. They're long-ish, but they're not really, you know, super long. But, um, yeah, it, this really works. This is really, really nice. And it's got the little fibres in it as well. Okay, next up, I got this Avon Glow, which is like a shimmery highlighter. And I'm wearing it on my cheeks. I will not swatch it because it doesn't swatch very well. But on the, on the cheeks, it's really pretty. Really, really nice. So I love that. This is in the shade uh, Deep Glow. It's the shimmer one. Last but not least, I love this product. This is the Prime and Set Spray. You spray it on to set, sorry, to prime your skin and then you spray it on after you've done your makeup to set your makeup. This works, this is so good. I've even ordered another one already even though I've only just got this one. Um, this is really good product and I really recommend it. And I'm gonna run out of time, so that's it for today. Um, this would have cost about 250, 250 pounds, but I only paid 100 for it. So I'm really pleased with that and I'll see you all again soon, bye.